I hit record. Hi everyone for joining. This is Don. I'm joined by John Eiler and Sanford Berg from the Board of Business. So John, I have the first question for you. How does the mission statement reflect on the work of the Board of Business? I think I'm not sure that we made this up ourselves in the last year or two, but I think it does a very good job of sort of summarizing what we do, uh, talking about providing stewardship for all the assets and resources uh, of the church. The one thing that's not quite correct with it is it says it's oversight of all financial aspects. And now we have the Board of Endowment Management that actually oversees the endowment assets, but everything else the Board of Business deals with. So, Excellent. And Sanford, how would you describe the most important ministry component of the Board of Business? Well, you know, I, I think of a budget as reflecting priorities. It really is a family budget or a church budget. <clears throat> so the chance to look over the whole range of church activities and see where the funds are going, following the money, uh, that's reflecting our values. And... Uh, in the process also of ensuring that the pledge drive moves forward and we're able to uh, be f financially sustainable. And, I, and I've, I've been a member for 49 years. So I've, been, I've served on just about every committee or board you can. And I must say, this has been one of the most stimulating and fun boards to be on. Uh, you really, you, I've learned so much about what makes the church tick, what's, what goes on behind the scenes, all the work and all the uh, issues that have to be considered. So it's been a, a, a real, uh, it's been a good time. And it's, it's spiritual in that sense, in that it makes me aware of um, how, how to prioritize things in the large and how, how to bring that back into the, to the small, into my own life. Thank you. Uh, John, what does service on the Board of Business look like? We have, uh, as I think you'll ask another question later about exactly when we meet in all this, but we have one monthly meeting uh, where we spend a better part of an hour, sometimes a little more than an hour, going over the budget to look at how, the, how things are, do, are progressing through the year. And um, of course, those have all been by Zoom recently. Uh, and so there's a sort of approximately an hour a month required for that. And uh, I would say another hour, perhaps uh, other matters that come up that we deal with via email. Plus, as a chair of the board, I'm sort of hoping that the members are spending a little bit of time ahead of time when we send out these budget documents and other things, sort of reading them over before we have our meeting. So, uh, you know, uh, in, in a good, good month, uh, no more than two hours a month. Uh, you know, sometimes we have to have a special meeting or something like that, but that's uh, what people do. And uh, by and large, everyone seems to be very well informed when we do have our meetings. We have good input from everyone to help make our decisions. So they're, they're doing their service very nicely. Yeah, I, I would underscore the transparency uh, within this church. I think that um, there's, a, there's not a single group that, that runs it and knows everything. It, there are openings throughout uh, the, the many, many boards. And there's a, we rotate people in and out of the Board of Business and that gives people uh, this, this big look at, at what goes on. And I think, um, I think that kind of rotation process is really valuable for a church because it means that more people have been sort of sensitized to what what it takes to, to keep this very large, very complex organization, uh, not just running, but to be effective in, in meeting our personal needs. That's right. I was gonna say one other thing to back up what Sanford said in his last question or answer. Um, I agree that to me, the most interesting thing on being on this board is that you really see all the different aspects of what the church is because the money's going to various things. And so, sometimes it's even more detailed than you'd like to know, but nonetheless, you know, you're really, you're really on top of it all and it gives you a really good feeling for the wide enterprise that our church is. Great, great answers, great answers, thank you. Um, Sanford, what have you found to be most rewarding or of the biggest personal benefit for serving on Board of Business? Well, I had always avoided uh, the Board of Business because as a 
professor of economics, that was what I was doing. Uh, now, in retirement, I don't have that as a daily task. And so it, uh, it became something that I could say, well, maybe I could be, you know, provide some abuse here. Uh, but there's an incredibly talented group. Of pe some people on the board know accounting. Some people are really good at finance. Uh, everyone is good at teamwork. And um, you know, whether we're trying to deal with replacing air conditioners or a roofing issue, building maintenance sort of stuff, I mean, if that's not done, uh, down the way, it's going to be a big expense for us. We'll have problems. So I think helping to keep us moving forward on that so we don't have uh, bad surprises down the way is really a, it's a very fulfilling activity. And uh, people on the board are, are very creative and they'll ask very, very good questions. And as an extrovert, um, being on a board, it also has helped me to be a more of a listener and be to really draw from the um, talents uh, within the group. And so in, in recruiting some additional members, uh, you don't have to be an accountant, you don't have to be an economist, uh, but you do have to be able to pay attention to what's going on and how that fits into the um, initiatives being taken by our church. Great. And John, could you describe a meaningful experience from your time being on the Board of Business? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I think the one that sticks out, this is my third year, but the one that sticks out the most was how not only did we meet our budget, I mean our uh, enlistment goal last year, but we exceeded it. And we didn't have to have a supplemental campaign. It was just so great that the church came through. Uh, I can't say in the time of COVID crisis, I hope that will happen this year again. But last year, I think that was sort of the most meaningful thing that uh, has happened uh, to me on the board. So. That's very true. Good answer. Yeah. And so I'm going to ask you both this next question. I'll start with you, Sanford. Um, how does service on the Board of Business inspire you, connect you with others, and or nurture you spiritually? Yeah, um, you know, it's it said you manage what you measure. So a lot of what we do is about measurement, but also a lot of important things can't be measured. Uh, and recognizing that and figuring out, well, how do we uh, balance our outreach activities? How do we make choices between improving uh, the playground versus doing something for uh, lighting inside the, uh, the, the sanctuary. Uh, just thinking about those issues means we're, what we're looking at is how do we create an environment that lets people thrive in the way that they can find very deep meaning. So I, I, I see this board as really providing a real foundation. And then in the process, it gets me to reflect and think about you know, what I value, what matters for me. And I try to then um, contribute in our own discussions and then working on task forces for the, for the board to uh, also have that kind of an, have an impact. And I think the legacy that each of us leaves for this church are those times when we make a difference uh, within the group. And I think boards, whatever board someone is serving on, is one really important way. Um, I don't think we see our, you know, the leadership of the church moves and changes and we, we keep kind of circulating through. And I think that's one of the beauties of the church and being able to witness that and contribute to that is, um, is, is very important to me. Right, good answer, thank you. John, same question to you. Yeah. Um... Well, first of all, obviously connecting with others has been really nice just to meet the various people who are on the board, uh, you know, that have come from very different backgrounds, like Sanford said, each has their own strengths. Plus, um, now that I'm actually the chair, I meet a lot of people at the church council, too. These are people I wouldn't otherwise know. So uh, a lot of people that are outside my usual sort of circle of friends at church, I get to meet. Now, the nurture spiritually uh, you know, I don't think of our board as being that spiritual as it were compared to board of parish ministry or something like that. But um, what I, what I've enjoyed a lot 
is the various uh, spiritual focus, uh, you know, readings that people, we always have one of those at the beginning of the uh, meeting. And it's been just a wide variety and everybody has so much interesting things that sort of try to put us in the right spirit before we then try to steward as best we can the church's money. So those have been most important for me. Well, Thank let you, me but, add that I, I do think that stewardship is a fundamental spiritual uh, activity that it's it's not it's not being pious it's not uh you know being super prayerful but it's about using our time and talents and and help and kind of shaping the setting where those talents and talents can really be productive and really be um, um celebrated and so you know to that extent i, I think the board provides a foundation for the spirituality of the church and, and i also second what uh, John said about the readings uh, at the start of our uh, uh, gatherings. They're often deal with stewardship or deal with making hard choices. Mm -hmm. And uh, that not only calms us down, but it, it focuses us in a way that really makes a difference. Wonderful. Well, thank you both very much for sharing. Oh, wait, wait, Don, I want to take yes, you. Please, you, you were going to ask, uh, I think, about when we typically meet. Right. Uh, we uh, meet on the set right now we're meeting on the second Thursday of the month uh, each month at um, well right now it's at five o'clock with zoom meetings so it was a little later than that when uh, people had to get there after work or something like that so uh, you know once a month then uh, for about an hour to an hour and a half max but I, the other point I wanted to make out is make to make is that um, it's a three-year commitment that we ask people, uh, you know, people cycle on and stay for three years before they go off. And each year, essentially a third of the board goes and we have a new third. So it's, um, it's a little more of a commitment than, you know, just a one year thing, but we feel like it takes that long. Many people have said it takes most of the first year to kind of get familiar with all the different budget categories and all that. And then you really get into it in the second year and hopefully maybe do some leadership in the third year. But. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank, again, thank you both so much for this time together. Thank you, Don. Great. Thanks.